Hello everybody, SuperWiz6991 here again. Just going to give you a quick tutorial of Ice Chat. Um, this is my preferred IRC standalone client. There is many others you can choose from if you don't like it or if you're tired of using the web interface. Well, just show you how this one works a little bit. Maybe you'll be interested and you want to use it. Um, this column right here is where your servers will be, whichever ones you decide to put in there. This is my current one. Um, I'll add a new one just for this example so you can see how it works. Um, you get your little panel down here. This is how you connect and disconnect from a server, add or edit an existing server, delete a server, remove a tab, which I'll show you what those are in just a minute, change your nickname, or um, other options. And you also have favorite channels and buddy list, which I don't use the buddy list. Other people might. It's there if you want it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new server. My preferred server of choice is IRC. Dot esper.net click next the default port number is 6667 I believe esper.net goes up to 6669 but I'm just going to leave it as default there's really no reason to change it um, the, this part here I'll show you this when we get to the um, when we get done with this little wizard here your nickname for this example I'm going to use test user 404 Next, auto perform. I'll show you this in just a minute after we finish this wizard. This will show you your final settings. If you're happy with it, click next. And it's done. Now you get to this window. This gives you a bunch of different settings you can change. Alternate nickname. This is for those who have unregistered nicknames. Um, for example, let's say I join a server with this nickname, which is my nickname, test user 404, but somebody in that server already has it. Well, that's where the alternate nickname comes in. It's it gives you an alternative to use in case that name is not available. If you register your nickname, then obviously that's not an issue. But we'll stick something in here just for the example. Okay, your away nickname. There's a function in Ice Chat where you can set yourself as away, which is this little button here, and it'll actually show a different nickname if you want it to when you're away. So we could do test user. 404. And the way I put that there is the default it sets it to when you connect to the server for the first time, it automatically fills this in. Um, the quit message, this is what it shows when you quit IRC. It shows a message on the channel. It says so-and-so has quit IRC, and it'll show this little message. Um, you can change your full name to whatever you want. This is just the default that's stuck in there. Um, then we'll go down and see startup. Nothing really to change here. Unless you have a, a server password, if you're, if you're going into a, a, a private server that has an actual server password or a Nick serve password, that's where you put this in. Ignore list, if you have players you want to ignore, you put them in here. Your auto join list, this is where you put in your channels you want to auto join. So we have the Pwn9 IRC channel, we're going to add that. And then we're also going to add the Pwn9 um, Playland channel. Click add. And there you go. Now, if you want to, when one of the times you're connecting to the server, let's say you don't want to go to one of these, just uncheck it and then save. And then when it auto performs, auto joins, it'll only join what's checked. And you can add as many channels as you want in here. Auto perform. This here is useful if you have a registered nickname. It's the only thing I really use it for. Um, you can have it set to do other commands as well. Um, but to identify, you do forward slash nick serve, space identify, space your username space your password and that's all you have to do um, BNC proxy default none of that stuff um, really is useful unless you have a proxy server you want to use for some reason um, then just click save and your new connection shows up here and now you have two ways to connect to it you can either click connect here or you can tell it to connect by right clicking and go to connect in this menu so we're going to connect to it and as you can see I've connected to the IRC server and it's auto connected me to the Pwn9 channels. Now as you can see it says I've put an invalid password which that's what's useful about this. I can either go back in here and edit this edit the server options or the my connection settings options and fix it here. And then I can either reconnect or I can do forward slash identify. Oops. And then
and now I'm identified. As you can see, and it shows you if, you've, if there's been a failed attempt at logging in, which is useful. So if somebody's trying to get on your account, you can actually see who it is that's trying to do it. Now that that's done, now you can chat. You go in here and say whatever, do whatever. Obviously, don't get yourself banned. That wouldn't be very good. Um, so a, few, a couple other features of saying, obviously, there's the away feature. And then you enter an away reason. And then we're going to type in... And hit OK. And now you see it says... Shows a little A next to my name. is my alternate nickname. And it puts up the user in the chat. It says you're now away. Reason. And part puts that out there. If you're all done being away, just click this. And boom, now you're no longer away. Again, it puts the little message up here. And you no longer have that A. Another cool option of Ice Chat is the ability to slap someone. So what you do is you click on whoever it is you want to slap. For this example, I'm going to use console. You right click. And then this gives you a bunch of options in here. You can get information about the user, which may or may not work for some people. Commands, invite user, notice user, query user. Op commands if you have op in the channel. Otherwise, these won't work. Uh, I've never really used these ones myself. And these are slaps right here. These are pretty cool. Now, by default, you won't have this many. I've added more to my IRC client. Um, so you can do, let's see here. I'm going to slap them with that one. And there you go. You see the message things there. Console really needs a bath. <laughs> and obviously, you can add more to these if you want to. Um, you just go to your options, ice chat editor. And then you'd go to, I believe it's under pop-up menus. Yep, there it is. And there'll be a section you'll see where it says slaps. And this is where you add them. You can find these all over the internet. Um, you may need to edit a few of them because sometimes they'll be for a different client. Uh, most of them are pretty universal. But some clients are a little bit different about how they process these. But just know that you may need to do so. If you have like a test channel or something, you can try it in with a friend. It might not be a bad idea. And that's where you do it, and you just click Save. Um, IRC also has a nice uh, logging feature. If you go to your Ice Chat settings, um, this is where you can change a bunch of things about it. Um, sound events, you can tell it what event to do, or what what you want a certain event to do, play, sound, or whatever. Um, new user notice. Most of these I have disabled just because I don't particularly want to hear them. Um, but the logging feature is what I find useful. You can click your, you can view a log folder, and then you'll click the server, and you can go by channel, and it'll show you all your log channels, which is useful if you just want to look at the logs. Um, you can set auto away settings, so if you're idle for a certain amount of time, it automatically sets you away. Virus scan settings. Firewall, folders, gives you a server tree, change fonts. Another thing you can do, and I know some of you like this, customizing your IRC. That'd be a default, so I have the black background and the, the nice colors on there. Um, you have to go into here and change it, which I use the dark theme. Um, by default, everything will be white, and you'll have, I believe, black text. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've been default. I don't particularly like it. Um, but yeah, if any of you want this particular setup, let me know. And I can um, tell you how to exactly set it up. But this is where you change all those right in the theme settings. Um, let me see what else we have here. You can change nick colors, auto nick control, fonts, text highlighting. You can tell it, um, you can enable it if you want to, whatever. But uh, that's pretty much the basics. If you're an op, there's a bunch of op controls here for you. You've got your, your op, your voice, your band, info, hop, query, kick, who is. Um, and also there's more op commands like in here, which give you more in here. These ones here just give you the basic um, 
especially if you need to ban or kick somebody. It just gives you the basic ban or kick. If you go in here, you can do a ban kick, no reason, ban kick. Um, you can do a regular ban, which won't kick them. That will only ban them, and then when they reconnect to the server again, after they have to disconnect and reconnect, then they'll be banned. But if you just use that one, that will ban them on the next time they log in. Ban kick will actually kick them and ban them at the same time. Um, op and deop users, voice and devoice. So it's pretty, pretty useful. Then we can go back to here, the Pwn9 channel. You can see everybody talking. Pretty nice. If you're voiced, you'll be, depending on how you have your color set up, you'll look like this. You'll have a little plus by your name. You'll have a little plus flag. Obviously, you can see my user is not voiced. In fact, if I go over to my other IRC window, I'll set him as voice, and there he is. He's voiced. You can see that was me to set that, that user as plus V. That's what you'll see when, a, when an op voices you, if they don't have auto voice set up in the channel. Um, copying pasting from here, let's say you want to copy some of these texts, like let's say we're going to use Dark Templar as an example. We're going to just highlight them, oops, like that, and then when you let go of your mouse it's going to disappear, but you did actually um, copy that. And to prove it to you, I'm going to open up Notepad and paste, and there you go, Dark Templar, dang it. So it's that simple. It took me, that took me a little bit to figure out when I first started. I couldn't figure out, I'm like, why is that not copying? But, yeah, that's how copying and pasting works. Now, if you need to paste, you can just do it right here and go to paste. That's all there is to it. Now, and you have um, smileys if the server you're in allows it, but this particular one, the Pwn9 channel, um, has it disabled. You can't use it. Um, color picker, that does work for the text, so you can use that. Um, to manually join a channel, you do forward slash join, and we're going to create a channel. We're going to call it test channel. Okay, well now we just created a test channel. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. Oops, cancel that. 